Hey guys, we have this 2017 Nissan Altima and we'll see if we can program this new Smart King Keyless. Let's get do it. <laughs> Okay guys, so we have this one key fob, keyless smart, let's go find the FCC number. So we have a 2017 right here, Altima four door, the between one we got Altima, and that's um, 16 to 18. So we're gonna use that FCC number, let's go find it, and then I already have it up there. Okay, our 5S1801440014. So click that. And then let's see, we have an Altima here. So let's get the Altima. And then let's go generate it. Put that on top. Already have a battery. And then generate. And this might take a little while. Um, I'm not sure how long it'll take, but once it's finished, we're gonna go program it, add it to the car. All right, once it's done, here you go. This is generating, it's 100%. And this is pretty cool. That one is has two different color. We have this kind of like Topaz, I don't know, topaz or blue with the hexagonal thing in there. Once it's done, I'll let you know. Alright, that is complete. Burn complete. Just so this one has a remote start, but this is not gonna have it. Let's check it. It says here has a 433 megahertz. Let's check it. As you can see this one has 433 this one it's about the same so all right let's go go ahead program it let's get this pouch we're gonna need that all right let's get to the car what we're gonna do is leave it there make sure the car is on press one that's on. Two. And then I'll put the hazard light. Just in case. And then we're gonna use our we have um scan tool. I mean it's scan tool. Key programmer right here. It's the Altel IM508. Let's go ahead, go to emo. So I'm going to do escape this. Let's go back to emo. Yes. So let's go check the VIN. Check VIN. Cancel. I'm not going to update it. Just keep going. <coughs> go back. Go VIN. Auto detect. So detecting your, it should say a Nissan Altima. Oh, how long are we gonna take? There you go. Turn on the hazard warning light, open and close the driver door. I got the hazard light on, open and close the driver door. And okay. Scanning your system. Hope it's pretty quick. 30%. There you go. It's going. <clears throat> 50. Taking a little longer than normal, but yes, just have to wait. Oh, 
Okay, let's go to Emo Status Scan. So we'll scan it. BCM, pass, no fault, engine, meter, no fault, everything is good. Smart key. So there's no problem with this. There you go. So what we're gonna do, let's go to add key guided. Establishing. Get pin. Start. This function will erase all learned keys. Prepare all key and vehicle. Yes. Turn off the ignition. Turn on the hazard. Open. Turn it off. Set turn off. There you go. And turn the hazard warning lap. Open and close the door. Okay. Place the back of the smart key against the ignition. So I'll put the smart key, place it right here. And then we're going to press OK. Establishing, checking network, pin success. System initializing for possible causes. System has been learning mode. The steering lock ignition was turned off. The password was incorrect. Vehicle for okay. Okay. We're gonna follow. Press the push button. Ignition switch for two seconds and more, and turn the ignition switch to turn on. Okay. Operation. Press push button. Ignition switch for two seconds. Switch to on position. One, two, it's on. It's on, we did it on, okay. Are the ignition and dash is normal condition then? Yes. Communicating a success. There you go. Key learning. Establishing ve vehicle communication. Now it's still communicating smart key learning turn off the ignition and wait for three seconds turn off the ignition it's off wait for three seconds one two three press ok press the push stop button once attach the smart key that need to be programmed to the push button where the instrument light automatically okay push the start button once let's see Smart key need to be formed to push one. Where is my mask? Okay, light up. Yes, program success. Continue to the next program one. Okay, continue. Next, turn off the ignition. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this one, this key on the pouch so it won't get detected. Okay, lock it. Then turn off the ignition. Wait for three seconds. Turn it off again. That's off. So goodbye. One, two, three. That's okay. Push the start button once. Attach the smart key to the next. The need to be programmed to the push that button. Where did it? Okay. So I'm gonna put the second one here. Press it once. Try it again. Okay, push the start button once, attach the smart key that needs to be programmed. Let's put it here. Let's push the button once. Okay, let's press yes. Program success, continue to the next one. I hope this is success. So, no. Turn off the ignition. Wait for three seconds. Turn off the ignition. Goodbye. Okay, one, two, three. Okay. Press the start stop button and attach the first learn key. I'm gonna stop. Okay. The first one, press the start button. 
to attach the first learn key on the stop button. Within five seconds, it should blow to the ladder. Here you go. Try that. Okay, we did it. Turn off the ignition within, wait for three seconds, okay? Turn off. One, wait, one, two, three. Okay, keep working success. Open and close the door once. Open and close the door once. Click the unlock. First, open and close the door once. Click the unlock and lock key once. Start the engine and wait for five seconds. It says start the engine. Okay. And wait for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Okay. That's it. We did it. All right. Let's try if it actually works. So let's move it out. Now the car is starting. As you can see, we have this key. Let's turn it off. Okay. We start the car with these. Press the brake. Okay. This one works. Turn it off. Let's go to the pouch. I will put this in the pouch as well. Make sure there's no key detected. Let's try it again. Nothing. It says no key detected. And then let's go ahead and take out this one. We still have the original key here. Let's press it. Press the brake. It did not work. Key ID incorrect. It said key ID incorrect. Let's do it again. All right. We failed. Let's go start another one. Add a key guided. Let's do it one more time. Let's get pin. Start. Execution for this functional erase all learned key program. Prepare all keys. Vehicle at this most. Okay, yes. Turn off the ignition. Ignition is off. Turn on the hazard lamp, turn it on, open and close the driver door, open and close, okay, place the back of the smart key against the ignition, the smart key, let's put it by the ignition, then, then we press ok, establish, Success, operate according to the following procedure. Press the push tight ignition switch to two, for two seconds or more to turn the ignition switch to on position. Okay. One, two, there you go. Hold for two seconds. And then, okay. Our the ignition and dash is normally conditioned. Yep, it's turn on. Yes. Success. Establishing vehicle communication. Keep the wait. Turn off the ignition and wait for three seconds. Let's turn it off. All right. One, two, three. Okay. Press the push start button once, attach the smart key that need to be programmed to the push start button. Where the instrument light up automatically. So push start button once. Let's go now. Let's go retry. Turn off the ignition. 
Wait for three seconds. It's off. Push the start button once. Attach the smart key that need to be programmed to the push start button. Let's try that one. Let's try it again. There you go. It turned on. Just have to hold it there. Then yes. Just press yes. Program success. Continue to the next one. All right, that one is success. So what I would do, I would remove this key so it won't get detected. Let's close that. The next one, yes. Turn off for three seconds. Turn off. Say goodbye. Then one, two, three. Okay. Press the push button once. Attach the smart key need to be programmed. All right. Let's do this again. Press it. There you go. It turned on. Say so yes. Success. Say so no. Turn off for three seconds. Turn it off. Then one, two, three okay press the start stop button and attach the first learn smart key on the start button within five seconds okay let's try it again There you go. Things light up. Let's try it again. Okay, turn it off. See, key registration complete, so you can see. Right there. Now wait for three seconds. One, two, three. Okay, key program success. Open, close the door once. Open and close and start the engine. Click the lock and lock button. Lock and lock. Start the engine with five seconds and start the engine. All right. So this one started it. Okay. Escape. All right. So we got this program. Let's do it again. Turn it off. Let's start it. That thing started. Let's turn it off. And then go ahead, remove that. Put it inside the pouch the key. And let's see if the second key will start it. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Beautiful. That thing started it. Let's try it again. All right, we just programmed this and let's go check it out. So this one is the unlock. Oh, this is the lock button. This is the unlock button. Only problem with this is that one says um, trunk and you press it. It does the alarm. And then the alarm is your trunk well let me know but it's still pretty cool right oh no it didn't close it what's going on there you go let's go unlock it there you go still pretty cool right